you'll see players qualify points wise for like finals and all this stuff but this is essentially while well, it is the dream hack qualifier it is also wcs qualifier in a way Again, the system's been revamped, rehauled, and it's going to take probably the first three months for people to actually understand what's going on. Um, there is no music. There is. No, there is music. I can hear it now. I told you, man, I worked really hard to balance things, so they're going to be quiet for us, but it's going to be good for everyone else. Hopefully. Anyways, we're in the first game, so let's get this party started with a quick shout to moving laterally for the 12 month resub. Thank you kindly, sir. I'm actually going to just turn down the transparency on that a little bit. It's a bit, uh, a bit big. Where is that? All right. Uh, so with that being said, we are getting into game. It's map number one in this best of three. Spawning here in the bottom left side of the map. It's going to be the blue Terran player, Team Liquid's Bunny. In the top right as the pink Zerg, it's Johnny Rico. Now, Johnny Rico was actually without question on the up and up as Hots got more and more into it. It's not like this was a guy who relied on abusing things like Swarm Host, but in general, his macro got better every time we mm. saw him. Uh, he's been playing since Wings of Liberty. Young kid, good kid. Uh, what was it? He used to be on Dignitas, too, a long time back. But unfortunately, he says he's not liking... Like, he said, okay, you haven't seen me in a while. I said hi to him in the lobby and all this. You haven't seen me in a while because I was waiting for Legacy. But he's not loving ZVT, apparently. Yeah. Could be multiple reasons for that. Could be that he feels like he's just in a very good matchup in general, as in like he feels like Terran has more options or is just straight up better. It's always possible to hear that. It could also be that it has changed kind of drastically from Heart of the Swarm. So, of course, in general, the game has changed drastically from Heart of the Swarm, but particularly uh, Zerg are kind of feeling uh, maybe contained to Roge Ravager as Mutaling Bling is having some serious trouble in the mid-game at the very least uh, with the lava reduction that came along with Legacy of the Void. So, for some people, that was the best thing about Heart of the Swarm was Mutaling Bling, playing it, watching it. Um, and, of course, for some people, the best thing about... Uh, Heart of the Storm was that you had a you had two three options as Zerg that were you know equally good in their own right where like I said the Void maybe you feel like only only Roach Ravager is good I don't know yeah Roach Ravager is a bit funny right now because we are seeing like I, I we talked about Nurture a lot today I need to like stop talking about him but like he was kind of the guy that made Roach Ravager and Fester start looking really sexy when he beat Beyond with it a lot of players started playing with it afterwards I'm not saying he was like the father of invention on it but uh, again. The, you mentioned Roach Ravager. Even though we all know Ultras look ridiculous and silly and Hive Tech is a scary thing for Terran to deal with, we do see a lot more priority on sticking to that layer, sticking to Roach Ravager. Yeah. yeah like, uh, some people will still try, try and go for those fast Ultras because it can still be a good strategy, but it's a, it's really kind of funny how similar... That? Uh, losing the Reaper. Just slow lings. Shouldn't yeah, that, have happened. It shouldn't have happened, but it's kind of funny. I was saying now, <gasps> often... Oh, this might be for a Banshee. hey -o. Oh, no, no. Bunny build. It's the bunny build. Oh! oh! Okay. All right. All right. This is going to be interesting then. So... Like Rifkin started gasping. He'll get set up, but I was going to say, Heart of the Swarm also started off, oddly enough, with a lot of fast Ultra builds, and then uh, those eventually just got figured out. Not less so than the Ultra actually getting nerfed, and it's kind of what happened in Legacy of the Void, too. So I want to talk about this build really quick because I'm a big fan of it right now and it's kind of ridiculous. This is not the map you would think someone does it on. There's not a, a ton of, I guess, the third maybe less so, but the natural and main has got some liberator spots that are kind of abusive. Because the bunny build, or what we're referring to here, uh, involves getting fast liberator range. Now, for those who don't know, this is a fusion core upgrade. That's why we have a fusion core in play. It's not just a silly misclick for battle cruisers. This will give Liberators enough range to stay away from the Spore Crawlers, to stay away from the Queens, and kind of nestle themselves way back here. Almost, in effect, forcing out Spire play, mm -hmm. which in general has been proving to be fairly weak. Mutaling Bling isn't what it used to be in this matchup. Yeah. And while Roach Ravager Corruptor looked like a good strategy early on, it really was, I guess, condensed into just Roach Ravager, or with some experimentation with Infestors as opposed to Corruptors. So you really just, uh, if you're trying to go for that style, you actually probably do not want to Spire, although I think Sulky is, you know, one of the most prevalent guys who has been doing the 
um, spire into roaches or roaches in a spire, but still continue with roaches to only get six mutas. Those those do exist. We'll have to see what Johnny Rico actually plays like. Like, is he gonna get that cautionary spire, especially if he if, knows who he's playing against? If he doesn't, he's gonna have a bad time. Yeah, I mean that's like a big thing right now. Is of course you're facing Bunny, who has the build to his name, right? And you don't make sure to scout it, or you don't make sure to at least think about it, then you're the one that messed up. So, uh, just a quick thing here, by the way, guys, as we watch this library start getting into action, the range upgrade isn't done just yet, it's almost done. Uh, as far as the audio stuff is concerned, uh, I guess I overcorrected and it went too quiet with it, went too loud was an issue, so hopefully it sounds a little bit better now. What we've learned though is like, this is a really delicate balance, and when I tested it last night, this setting I had before was fine, so... Anyways, Liberator range is done, and with some decent micro, you should be able to avoid most problems as we see Queens just getting shot here in the main. Uh, a big part of this is, yeah, you can kill a lot of drones and that's nice, but it is making sure your opponent's not mining on that mineral line, and honestly, this might be a GG. This sounds stupid to say, but uh, these Liberators will not be dealt with easily, and Johnny Rico's just going to keep bleeding drones. Yeah. Um... At least one response we've seen is someone who's already planning on going for like a roach push just tries to bring the Liberators back home to buy time for Aspire, but really Johnny Rico has nothing to threaten Bunny with, and Bunny just on, the, on that point is probably going to win, because yeah. his macro is being untouched right now. Of course, the fusion core is a big investment as well as the actual upgrade, but it's certainly going to that point where like you're on a third base, your other upgrades are finishing up, so the fact that you delayed them with the other gas intensive things you've got is actually Actually, it doesn't really matter right now. Like you're certainly making up for that with the damage you've done, and the lack of control I mean, you're giving to the Zerg. Look at the economic shift right now, guys. Johnny Rico less than half the income of Bunny, and all he's doing is denying about three or four minor mineral patches per base. I don't oftentimes complain about Terran because, as biased as this cast may be, I don't often feel Terran has anything too broken going for them. But the thing that I find so disgusting about this, and I d deliciously disgusting because I am Terran, uh, is that this again. It, you can't use Ravagers to deal with this the way you can normally. You can't use Queens, obviously, or Spore Crawlers. So how do you deal with this? Again, pointing out that Spire. But as it's turning out, Spire is one of the lesser... Like, It's not a, a preferable choice. It's not as efficient as other builds. And just by being forced to go for this alone, I feel, puts Johnny Rico back. But the fact that he bled out so many drones, he's lost so much mining, and then goes Spire? He's falling further behind with every second this game takes on. Yeah. It's kind of another way to deal with it, um, if you can, that is. If your fourth base is up, again, this is like, uh, if you had a roach attack, and, you know, you could make things look actually really sketchy oh. and close, and you get a fourth base that's at least mining, then maybe you're okay, but once again, John Rico has nothing else going from a going from yeah. other than, okay, finally you have a base fully mining, but you definitely need a lot more than that. He, I mean, he's had to tunnel on these liberators so hard, he wasn't ready for a push that comes after, GG gets called. Uh, unfortunately, a quick game. Yeah. Uh, two base.